like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. 10 Creepy Stories and Facts About Ancient Egypt Ancient Egypt has fascinated the imagination since we first cleared the sands away from the Great Sphinx. For the past two centuries, it has been an obsession of archaeologists and historians. It is a land whose mysteries we have spent years slowly unraveling. Even after all this time, though, there is still a great deal we don't know. Some of the biggest discoveries of the ancient world may still lie under the covered sands of Egypt, waiting to be revealed. More often than not, such revelations only yield yet more mysteries and unanswered questions. The study of ancient Egypt is one of the most interesting things in the world. From a young age, many people are enthralled by stories of cursed mummies, ancient pyramids, and all kinds of Egyptian magic. While mummy curses may not necessarily be real, and the pyramids probably weren't built by aliens, there are still many interesting things to learn about the ancient Egyptians, from pregnancy tests to religious tales. Join us as we explore the world of the ancient Egyptians. Number 10. Unknown Queen of Egypt in 2015, archaeologists stumbled upon the tomb of a woman who was buried among the great pyramids of the old kingdom of Egypt. In her tomb were inscriptions calling her both the wife of the king and the mother of the king. 4,500 years ago, when this woman was alive, she would have been one of the most important people on the planet. She would have had greater power than any other woman in the nation, and nobody has any idea who she is. Historians have dubbed her Kentakawas III under the assumption that she was the daughter of Queen Kentakawas II. They believe she may have been the wife of Pharaoh Neferefre and the mother of Pharaoh Mekahur, but they don't really know, they're just guessing. If her name was Kentakawas III, then there are no references of her whatsoever in anything we've ever found. Whoever she was, she was once an incredibly powerful woman, but today, she is a little more than an enigma. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. The Legend of the Titanic Mummy Curse As we all know, the RMS Titanic was an enormous ship constructed by foolish mortals who believed they could truly create something that was unsinkable. This hubris of man caused a great tragedy, plunging many to their death as the Titanic sank to the bottom of the ocean. While many would simply call the sinking of the ship an accident, some people have other ideas. There are those who tell a tale of the cursed mummy of the priestess of Amun that had been brought to England. It had the mysterious power of breaking nearby objects and causing trouble with its dark, scary magic. Eventually, according to legend, this mummy ended up on board the Titanic and disaster struck. Is it just false tales or an actual true story? We do not know. But if you do know, do let us know in the comments below. Number 8. Love Potions The ancient Egyptians loved magic and, this is shocking so prepare yourself, they also enjoyed love. The Egyptians decided that it would be a good idea to combine the two and create their own love potions. These potions were quite specific to the situation, with separate potions to win over the woman of your dreams, force a woman to love her man, make a woman like sex, or even love potions meant for people who want to ruin marriages out of jealousy. Before you fire up the cauldron though, you should know that the recipes are about as insane as you would expect. One involves mixing the dandruff of a murdered man with barley, apple pips, blood from a tick that specifically bit a black dog, your own blood, and your semen. This mixture is supposed to be planted in the beverage of your beloved, but if you can get someone to willingly drink a concoction that foul, you have probably won their love. Number 7. Prophetic Dreams In ancient Egypt, dreams were considered extremely important. Today, most people consider dreams to be just a random jumble of images, but Egyptians were convinced that everything remembered from a dream had significance. People would pay temple priests, who had extensive training in dream interpretation, as well as books with the proper guidelines to help them interpret their dreams. Some people would even spend time sleeping in the temple to be closer to the gods when trying to discover something important through dreaming. The ancient Egyptians weren't worried too much about the context of the dream, directing most of their attention to little details they had jotted down in their manuals. For instance, seeing a large cat may predict a bountiful harvest is on the way, but seeing a dwarf means that your life is already half over. Number 6. Shape-Shifting Jesus an Egyptian text from over a thousand years ago was recently discovered, and it has new details about Jesus. The people who were in charge of studying the text cautioned that while the text appears legitimate, that doesn't necessarily mean that the claims are correct, just that whoever wrote them at the time believed it to be true. That said, the information presented in the text is very interesting. 
Among other things, it states that Jesus was known for being a shapeshifter. He couldn't change into animals, but he did change his complexion or disguise himself as an old man or a young child and used this ability to evade those who were out to arrest him. According to the text, the reason Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss was for identification purposes because the guards couldn't do so by physical appearance. Additionally, while the Last Supper is believed to have been on Thursday, this text suggests that it was actually on Tuesday. It also states that Pilate talked to Jesus, broke bread with him, and offered to have his own son killed in his place before Jesus was executed. The text explains that Jesus politely declined the offer, but thanked Pilate for his kindness and showed him that he had the power to leave any time he so chose. Number 5. Revenge Spells one of the most pervasive tropes involving the ancient Egyptians is the idea that they were very keen on using magic to exact revenge on others. The ancient Egyptians were known for all sorts of magic in general, and likely experimented with many different creative ways to get back at others. However, the most well-known is the curse of the mummy. More specifically, it is the general idea that pharaohs would have magic spells placed in their tombs to ensure that anyone who entered and disturbed the remains would pay most dearly for their crimes. Of course, no mummy's curse has ever been proven and usually involves people fitting the circumstances to their theory, but scientists wanted to see if perhaps there was something non-magical going on that would make a difference. After studying substances in the tombs, they observed dangerous molds on the walls that could cause lungs to bleed. They also agreed that this was unlikely to actually happen. More eerily, a British museum hosting a statue from ancient Egypt has caught on video what they claim to be the statue moving on its own. Experts have determined that it's a result of vibrations from visitors' footsteps, but what do they know? Number 4. Resurrecting Dead Ones Perhaps you've gleaned at this point that magic was quite popular in ancient Egypt. It was used for just about anything, and had an institutionalized place in their society. The use of magic was led to the performance of all sorts of miracles by high priestesses. Some legends claim that an ancient Egyptian priest once parted a lake, much like Moses parting the Red Sea, just to get a trinket that had been lost on the seabed. They have also been known to resurrect animals and even humans. Usually, the reason given for resurrecting someone was for a crucial purpose they need to fulfill, like standing as a witness for an important trial. Resurrection played an important part in the Egyptian way of life. The idea of death and new life was a fundamental tenet in the religious beliefs. Egyptians believed that, like the sun rising again, they would eventually begin life anew, and so were very concerned with proper preservation of remains and making sure the dead were prepared for the next life. It wasn't necessarily a get-out-of-death-jail-free card. When an ancient Egyptian died, it was believed that they would then face judgment and would only begin life anew if their deeds outweighed that properly. Number 3. Trained Baboons Most people probably think of cats as the animal most associated with ancient Egypt, but baboons were also extremely important in culture and society. After all, primates are far easier to train than felines and were well equipped for practical purposes. Among other things, their climbing abilities and dexterity made them useful picking fruits, nuts, and dates. Baboons held more significance in Egyptian society than mere fruit pickers. According to historians, baboons factored into Egyptian religious beliefs in multiple important ways. Baboons were believed to make loud, obnoxious noises when the sun came up so many associated them with the god of the sun. One pharaoh, Amenhotep III, actually had four massive statues of baboons commissioned, because that's how he rolled. The baboon is also believed to have some connection to the god Happy, who is an offspring of the great Egyptian god Horus. Number 2. Amulets The Egyptians were some of the first people to use amulets and took superstition to a new level. They believed that carrying different objects that had specific properties would protect them. Most of us would consider such an idea pretty silly, but ask yourself this, have you ever had a lucky shirt, or a lucky pen, or some other trinket that you would carry around because you would think it would safeguard you? If so, then you, too, have used amulets just like the ancient Egyptians. Ancient Egyptian amulets were usually items of jewelry shaped like an animal or some other symbolic form. These amulets could be made of almost anything, but the magic behind making them was often very complex. How the amulet performed for the wearer depended on what the amulet was made of, how it was shaped, what it looked like, and of course, what magic had been wrought into it through the use of spells and incantations. Number 1. Healing Magic Perhaps the most well-known staple of ancient Egyptian cultures are magical healing abilities. There is some truth to this legend, but much of the history has been confused. 
While the magic was well established within their medical practices, recent research has shown that it may not have played as much a role as people think. Many rituals may have focused on the use of magic, but that doesn't mean the ancient Egyptians didn't know what they were doing. For their time, the ancient Egyptians had an impressive knowledge of real medicine. Recent publications have shown the healers were quite adept at medical procedures, such as surgery. There is even evidence that ancient Egyptian healers had successfully created prosthetic toes. Researchers also concluded that ancient Egyptians believed in universal healthcare. Everyone seemed to get the best treatment that was available at the time, regardless of status.